Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. Uh, in this video, I'd like to react to one of the comments that I received about antibiotics. Apologies for my voice, it's a little bit hoarse today, but let's just go into the, uh, the little comment that I received. So Angie says this, antibiotics should not be used ever and because doctors are so quick to prescribe, we now have super bugs. I have very little patience and zero confidence in physicians with Western training. Okay, so this is a bit of an extreme viewpoint as you can probably understand, which is, you know, what we find online in many forums, I would imagine. YouTube is no different. So I would take the central viewpoint here. So I wouldn't go to this extreme. I wouldn't say that antibiotics should never be used, but I also agree that in some cases they are overused. In my field, so respiratory medicine, pulmonology, this is a fairly common problem because many patients, many people would sometimes seek antibiotic treatment from their pharmacist, from wherever they can get antibiotics for any chest infection. And acute bronchitis, which is more or less what the most common chest infections, infections, colds that go to the chest, they're generally around here. It's sort of an acute bronchitis episode. In most cases, these are viral in nature. So there's a virus, not a bacteria causing that infection to happen. Even if your sputum can sometimes be dark and green and all these things, all these colors, it's not necessarily a bacteria causing that. It's just the inflammation. So if that's the case, you know, in most situations, most people can get past the chest infection without taking antibiotics. So just using symptomatic treatment. So for example, if they're feeling really unwell, cold and flu tablets, which you can get over the counter in most places or in local pharmacies, and maybe just drinking enough fluid, warm soup, tea, some honey, things like that to just keep your throat nice and soothed. So that's all that you need to do in most cases. Now, however, if you are developing a severe chest infection, so I'm sticking to my own field of activity, if you have a pneumonia and you are really unwell, you end up in hospital, you shouldn't refuse antibiotic treatment because that's probably going to save your life. Because in those situations, the bacteria is, there's bacteria actually causing that uh, that chest infection, that pneumonia. So we, we need to try to figure out a way to be rational about antibiotic use. And this is a huge problem. Many doctors with Western training, despite what the comment was saying, are actually taught to be careful about prescribing antibiotics. And that's why it's usually the patients actually who go and seek antibiotic and request antibiotic treatment from pharmacists, from wherever they, friends, family sometimes, just to treat small infections in the hope that the infection will go away sooner. So actually most doctors will be quite cautious at prescribing antibiotics. Although there are differences. There are differences between countries around the world. Some countries are more liberal at prescribing antibiotics, while others are very strict. So it really depends a lot on maybe local practices, uh, it also depends on the profile of resistance of these super bugs because not, not all countries are the same. And this you may find as an interesting fact. So in some countries, you have different profiles of resistance. So for the same infections, for example, a chest infection may be treated slightly differently. The protocols may be different in terms of which antibiotics to prescribe, for example, in the UK versus France versus the United States um, and other parts of the world. So it depends. It really depends on, on the situation. But I would say we shouldn't fear antibiotics antibiotics. They're a great advance. It has Antibiotics have helped us cure many, many conditions, many infections, and people used to die in large numbers because of almost just simple infections you wouldn't believe would kill anyone in the past, but because we didn't have antibiotics. So that's great. But we need to use them carefully to be able to use them longer. And the appearance of resistant bacteria is a big, big, big problem. But there is work underway to try to prevent that. There are protocols which are being established in many countries to try to limit irrational use of antibiotics. So hopefully this was a good viewpoint from my side as a doctor with, let's say, Western training. Um, and I'm personally quite reluctant to prescribe antibiotics if I don't need to. But if we need to, we give them because it helps our patients. So hopefully that was helpful. All the best and good health.